Hello everyone. Welcome back to Leva Productions. Today we are going to talk about RTA in the EQ section. I have already uploaded three separate videos for low cut filter here, the entire EQ section and the quality and the Q factor in my previous videos and I will include the URL of those three videos in the description here in case if you want to go through those videos and have a more understanding on the EQ section. For this video, I am using XR18 and you can follow the steps in this video for any mixer of X Air series. Alright, so let's get started. RTA, it stands for Real Time Analyzer. And right now this button is uh, turned off and it's a uh, grade. If I click here, you will see that now the frequency is uh, showing up here on the screen. And when I say you can see, you can literally see the band of the frequency of my voice on the screen here. And you can decide which particular frequency should be boosted and which frequency should be cut down. If I turn on the RTA, now I can see that uh, frequency, the low frequency where the extra bass is coming in. I can engage my low cut filter and I can start increasing the threshold value of the low cut filter and I can choose and decide. I can also visualize which particular frequency is causing a unnecessary extra bass and you can cut that particular frequency very precisely. And I can do something similar on the high frequency here, on the high band of the frequency. Right now you can visualize or you can see on the bar, on the graph here, whenever I use the letter S, you are not seeing too much activity here. It's not even hitting a too much above the uh, zero, uh, 0 line or the reference line. If I increase this, and now if I start talking, the letter S here, it will have a good amount of hiss and crisp uh, in my sound. And you will also see that the graph is now hitting somewhere around here because we have boosted the high frequency and real-time analyzer is helping us to show where exactly the frequency is hitting. And I can do the same thing in the reverse too. So right now we have boosted the high frequency and we are seeing a good amount of activity here. And if I bring it down, now you will see that uh, the activity on the high frequency band, it's now pretty much a cut down. You will not see a lot of activity here. And you will also hear and listen that my sound doesn't have unnecessary hiss or unnecessary uh, crisp on letter S. I will go ahead and I will increase the high band frequency here and I will keep it somewhere around here. Next setting in real time analyzer is pre. And uh, based on the name, it uh, exactly does the same thing pre and post. So right now, EQ is on and we are seeing the real time analyzer graph with the equalizer on. Without turning off the EQ, if you want to see how the graph looks as if the EQ was off or pre EQ, you can click this button here. And now you will see the real time analyzer before the EQ was applied. And here also you will see that it says channel 13 pre. And if I uncheck this option, it will say channel 13 post. And you will see that now the real time analyzer graph has changed and it's showing you the realistic effect as of now. I will reset the frequency and I'll turn off the low cut filter. And next is the spectrograph. With the real time analyzer turned on, I will go ahead and I will click on the spec here that also stands for the spectrograph. When I check that uh, checkbox, you will see that now the bar has been replaced by the spectrograph. And uh, this is also another form of a representation of the sound wave. It's uh, totally up to you how you want to use the real time analyzer. If you are more comfortable analyzing and uh, studying the spectrograph, you can use uh, this option here or you can turn it off and you can still use the standard bar here that shows the frequencies. Apart from looking at the frequencies and boosting or cutting them down, you can also use the real time analyzer to see the frequencies which are causing feedback for you and you can cut down those frequencies with the help of real time analyzer. So that's all I had to include in uh, this video for the real time analyzer. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.